So here I am back up on the roof and I think I have an idea of what I want to do. So let's take a look around. So as you can see, I have most of the roof torn off. This is what it's called when you take the roof material off. It's called tore, tear off or torn off. I tore off the roof, so it's torn off. And this what you see underneath, this right here, this is the substrate. This right here, this material, that's the plywood. That is underneath all roofs. This particular roof has got what's called a radiant barrier plywood. On the other side of this plywood that you can't see, there is a shiny metal reflective surface applied to it. And I think it's some sort of a tin foil or foil surface. So this is, this was replaced already the last time I did the roof and we're gonna leave it. So the next thing is to decide on what material I wanna make the roof of next. Okay, so taking into consideration the problems that I had with the roof in the past, like this spot right here. That is a spot where water got through and damaged the roof. Now, I don't see any other areas like that, and I do know there was a slight kind of ponding issue that was happening right here in this area. So what I am gonna do is cut a cricket into this roof, which is kind of like a little small pitch uh, that will allow the water to drain off to the sides. And hopefully that this will not happen again. So you can see on these flashing or these pipes coming up that, damn this fly, that uh, I left the flashing on now the flashing is going to uh, come off when we do the new torch down. And that brings me to what is the best type of roofing for a flat roof? Now I did spend a lot of time on the roof trying to decide exactly what I wanted to do with the choice of materials. So I did my research and realized that the best type of flat roof was the same roof that I had on here originally. And that was the two ply torch down roof. The TPO is too thin. It can get damaged by nails and walking. And the EPDM rubber roof is also thin and prone to damage. So we're back to doing the good old torch down roof. All right, so my OCD kicked in while I was up here and I said I was gonna wash the solar panels. I use Unger Professional Easy Glass Cleaner. This is what I use to wash the windows with as well my Unger window thing, a couple of towels, whatever. And I just, you know, wash them down like so. Now, you get a lot off of that stuff. All right, I'm all done. And that's how dirty they were. If I could explain to you how it smells, it's like the YMCA swimming pool, but like the YMCA swimming pool bathrooms, kind of a smell, it's not great. 
right here in this general area we will have a packaged heating and AC unit packaged meaning both the the FAU and the condenser are in one unit so it's not split apart and that system will sit right here and we'll have rigid exposed ducking ducting ducting on this roof that rigid exposed ducting is not the greatest thing to look at but we don't have any space between the roof and the ceiling inside to run vent pipes so we're stuck with it so under here is going to be a little bit of an issue because it's tight in order to get torch down you have to use flame and flame in tight areas does not always work great you can see under here how it's all kind of blackened and that's from torch down different people in different times putting torch down down now we have to reflash underneath there roll the torch down heat it and it's going to be a little bit difficult but i guess that's the price to pay for this kind of interesting detail having this second roof pitch on the house i don't necessarily think it's functional but it's pretty I did do another video where right here in this very spot I took some Henry's and I patched the roof that's another video you can see about roof patching and it held up there is no leaks in this quadrant where I did the patch the only leak I have was from a previous incident on the roof now I'm going to put the camera down and you can see kind of the roof has some waves to it and that's the one thing I have to fix before I put the new roof down. So I get a lot of questions about components on the roof and I'm going to go through the components on the roof as quickly as I possibly can so get your pen and paper out. First you have this this is your substrate this is your plywood it goes down it needs to be radiant barrier per code then you have this right here is your drip edge this is your metal coming off the edge here and it has to be on every roof even the TPO has a flashing on the edge fascia this is a fascia board this one's got a slant to it merely aesthetic doesn't do anything special but that's your fascia board and that attaches to the ends of your rafters so your rafters stick out and the fascia board goes on that. Here again, you can see perfect example. This is our metal edge right here and this is our torch down material. This torch down here is a single ply torch down, but it's this particular roof has got a pitch going down that way so it does not leak. Then you have roof jacks. These are your roof jacks flashing vent pipes, conduit, that's about it on a roof. There's not much more to it. So when you hear people talking about aspects to, the, to a flat roof, now pitch roof, there is many other parts to a pitch roof. You have gables and valleys and hips and ridges and all that stuff, but that's pretty much it on a flat roof. Not a lot of materials, but they're all really important to keep the inside dry. All right, now that I've taken you up here and shown you a bunch of stuff, uh, real quick price. I've gotten prices all the way ranging from $6,000 to $12,000. TPO shouldn't cost more than five bucks a square foot. This is a thousand square foot. I think 12 grand's too much. That was for TPO. Um, the EPDM rubber was a little cheaper. I got a quote for I think it was seven or eight thousand dollars and then actually the better and more expensive and more laborious material the torch down two ply came in at five thousand dollars this is a thousand square feet of space so there's my logical answer it's got to be the torch down two ply and I think I'll be happy with it for 
as long as it doesn't leak into my kitchen, which is what it's done the past three times. So with that note, thanks for watching and join us again in the future. Yeah, quick side note on these ladders, uh, they kind of suck. They're handy, but you get your fingers pinched in them all the time, and they're really heavy when they're folded, the strong, the, the whatever, 300 pounder ones are. And the regular old ladder, the, you know, extension ladder is better, lighter. In the end, it's easier. So, if you're gonna go out and buy one of these, just go buy a regular ladder and I don't know why I have this I just slept over something from something so anyway side note